Charissa Ruby with Dakota Micro and I am going to be showing you uh, the combine kit that goes in the Axial combines for Agco. There's two different kits that can be in this combine. You can either get a AgCam 9 inch quad monitor or you can view your camera on the C2100 screen. So first thing I'm going to do is tell you where the connection point is to hook up to either one of them. So what we're going to need to do, there's lots of different tools you can use. This is just the one we happen to have. You're going to need to use this and take out these plugs here that are holding the ceiling panels in. There's one, two, three, four, and then five, six. You take all six of those out and then we're going to go ahead and remove these little caps here on the visor and underneath there there's going to be Phillips screws. Go ahead and remove the visor and take it down, one on either side. Take that visor down and then there is this P panel here is separate. That panel will then come down and it'll leave this panel. To be able to reach up, reach up behind this panel up in here and you'll be able to grab the connecting end and it's going to look, it's going to be the mating end to this. So it's a Deutsch Quick Connect connector that'll be kind of tucked up inside of the headliner. If you're going to be hooking it up to the C2100 monitor, you will have this adapter. This adapter plugs in to what you just pulled down from the headliner. So the mate is this. And so you'll be plugging that up here. And this is actually a USB plug with a quarter twist lock on it to make sure it doesn't come unplugged. That plugs right into the back of your C2100 monitor. You get that plugged in and you can view up to two cameras on this monitor. So the C2100, two cameras. If you choose to view video on the Ag AgCam 9 inch quad monitor, that kit comes with a bracket and a monitor and a own things. So you got some wing bolts. Okay. And then also included is a little grommet that ran away. Do this. Okay. And so then this grommet slides right in here. It's a split grommet. So you slide this in and you leave the split at the opening and so you can put this in. Maybe do it first probably. Do that like this and then you can slide this in right here. So you have your cord. So what you'll be doing is there's two screw holes right here and the kit comes with the screws. You just, and there's a hole here where you can punch that out and that's where you would run that cord down here. So instead of for the C2100, you would, you would swing it over here, plug this in and it mounts right up there. Easy viewing, power on off. If you order your combine factory video ready, you will have the option to choose, I want the AgCam 9 inch monitor or I want to view my video on the C2100. It will include everything in the cab that I just showed you. So if you get the um, 9 inch monitor, you get the, mo the quad monitor installed with the bracket kit. If you get the C2100 video option, you get the um, adapter and it's all hooked up for you. Everything in the cab is done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get out of the cab we're going to go look underneath the cab to show you what harness is under there and where to plug your cameras in. Okay, so now where we're at is obviously um, right here above the feeder house. And here is the adapter cable that allows for the cameras now, the signal to come get put input up into the cab. You'll see the video 3-4 has a little tag on it that says 3 and 4 only available with the AgCam 9 inch monitor. So like I said, the, the C2100 only ever allows two camera inputs, so one and two. Three and four are only to, only can be used if you're using the AgCam 9 inch quad monitor. All four of them have caps on them, so they're protected if you're not using them. Go ahead and grab this camera, and I'm gonna turn it around, and I'm gonna take it and point it up inside and my connector is right there. You see him? Right there. And he's kind of hiding up here and he's got a little cap on him as well. And that's where this end would plug right into that. 
and then you'd be able to uh, run your cables for your cameras wherever you would like. Um, we always recommend, hold on, let me pull the camera out from underneath the combine here. Um, just on a side note, we always recommend that you follow the existing cables on any piece of equipment and that makes sure that you're following where the engineers have chosen to put the cables so you're ensuring to avoid pinch points and anywhere where the camp the cables are going to get damaged because that's one of the most common problems is people running cables they'll run them back and they don't um, ensure to keep them out of pinch point areas so to keep your cables uh, competent and properly uh, running video please uh, follow that instruction and um, anybody ever has any questions there is a website dedicated to just agco components uh, for agcam it's agco agcam dot com. Thanks.